You're live now. All right. Welcome <laughs> back, guys. <laughs> Take two. So we're just checking to make sure we're facing the right way. Just in case you were tuned in yeah. a couple minutes ago. It's us again. How yeah. you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, people in the replay are probably like, what is going on in that place? Okay, we're good. All right, so you guys can see us <laughs> the right way. We're not sideways, which that could have been really fun to watch, I guess. Entertaining. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so we introduced ourselves in case you're catching it right now. I'm Andrea. I'm Brandy. And we're Crafter Support. Beck is behind the camera. Uh, Beck and I have been sick. We're feeling better. Brandy never got sick. I guess we didn't cough on her. I think it's because my kids, I have younger kids, so I've already built my immunity up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they go to public school. Oh, so, I don't know what you guys <laughs> have Oh, wait, Haley goes to public school. I don't know how my she kid got sick at all. Hmm. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. My son didn't get it, but my daughter got it. So, but we're all doing better. We're all ready to craft. Um, welcome. If you're new, if you are just joining us, we... Uh, Saw that we got a lot of new members in the group and on the Facebook page or YouTube page. Barbara so, Lineberg says hi. Hi, Barbara. I don't know Barbara. Do you know Barbara? I mean, I don't think so. Maybe. Sometimes we don't know people's last I, names. I do better with pictures. I don't really We'd know. We'd like to get to know her. Absolutely. Sure. Nice to meet you, Barbara. Yes. If we know you, thanks for tuning in. That's we right. We're bad with last <laughs> names. Yeah. Sometimes bad with first names. <laughs> but we're good with crafting. So yeah. that's why we're here, right? So definitely comment if you have any questions. Put them in cap letters, and then she um, is new. Oh, nice! Oh, Welcome. This is exciting. So fun. Mm -hmm. um, are you okay, Beck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? guys, we have a lot of fun here. So I hope you guys are ready for some fun tonight. Um, if you have a question, cap letters. Beck will read it, and we'll answer it if we can. And if we can't, we'll get you the answer later. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanted to do tonight is Brandy saw this cool Pinterest um, idea, and we wanted to make. I wanted to make it for my daughter. So, look at that. Okay, so we have this cute little bunny. You can use any bunny that has like silk, like, like silk, silk, or the flatter uh, fur. You don't want like the long fur that you really like have to hairy one. Yeah. So if you get a like a silky one that has a silky ear, or even if it's. Um, uh, not construction. <laughs> My brain. Um, um, I'm not felt. Sure. Oh. Even if it has felt in the ear, you could sure do it on the felt. felt ear, the yeah, animal. but like the felt, you know what I mean by like the felt ear where it's not, it's, it's not, um, hairy. Not hairy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's smooth. what I meant. Smooth. smooth. Right. So what we're going to do is we're gonna, going to use our, let me reset that. We're just going to use our Easy Press Mini and we're going to put Jazzy's name on the ear and we're going to use glitter Which vinyl. Which would you like? I think this one is the one I did it for. Do you okay. want to switch me places? Um, sure. 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 All so right. I have my real like mat down here. Um, I do like a lot of Cricut products, but I prefer the real like mat. And they're way cheaper. So um, if you're looking to get a heat press mat, I, I do like these. They're from Amazon. Perfect. Do you like it there? I like it there. I feel a lot of pressure if it's in the wrong spot. So don't, don't, it's okay. Do you want this on top of this? Not yet. I don't need this yet. You don't need that yet. Until okay. you peel it up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have, we have, <laughs> we have this set for the second heat. So we press it twice and it's ready to go. And so I just, hold it. You're going to hold Do it. Do I push a button when I put it on? Nope. It's ready to go. If I you, don't, like a timer or nothing. Nope. I have to count? We can, we can kind of Oh, we're winging guess. it. Yeah, we're just going to. And it won't hurt it. if I touch the silky, right? No. And okay. if it does, it'll be okay. We'll fix it. But it All shouldn't right. hurt it. So you can just, because it's the oh, Easy I Press can Mini, move it. you can move it around. All right. Um, I do have a video up on the Easy Press Mini if you guys aren't familiar with it or want to try it. Um, I also have the 9x9 Easy Press, and I have a 10 by 12 press that's a like pressurized press and I have a 12 by 15 that I use but which are really cool yeah I really like the pull down ones because I don't have a lot of upper body strength so whenever um how much keep going you think yeah well you can try and peel it if you think it's ready it's usually like 30 seconds so just in case you don't know I'm the inexperienced one go for it go for it at an, angle. at an angle. I say do everything at an angle. 
Yeah, see? Look how cute. That is perfect. That is very cute. That so, turned out perfect. Do we need to press it more um, without? Let's see. No, it's good. Okay. So look how cute that is. You could put... You can put the year on the other ear you if you could. wanted to. That'd be really cool. If you have like a little nickname that yeah. you call your little one, you can like put that in there. <gasps> How cute for like a baby that's born in Ooh. April and have all the birth announcements and little, stuff. You can just get an elephant with a little elephant ear. Yeah. For, Super that'd be cute. cute. Yeah. Really anything. Yeah. You can put you their initial like the on the belly. belly. Yeah. Lots of right. opportunity here. Those are super cute. And this was like, Jazzy's had this one for a while. My daughter's 17 now, but we still do all the cutesy things. Mm -hmm. So that is really cute though. Yeah. It turned out really sweet. I it's love it. I, she's going to love sorry, it. Sorry. I got to keep. She's going to want something on this ear now. Yeah. For sure. Just yeah. because the glitter looks yeah, so have, cute. It does actually. It looks really nice. I like it. So, I mean, unless you don't like glitter, I mean, oh. you know, I'm not sure like Becky. Who doesn't like Oh, wait, that's Haley. Oh, yeah, it's Haley. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Haley. Uh. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we have is do you want to do the bib? Sure. So, one. another cute idea is to make a cute little bib for a baby. Look how sweet that is. Mama! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one went out for you, Brandy. <laughs> I'm going to make a bigger right. one. This is a two-piecer, so I have it, like, layered, so you'll have to do two different... Ah, uh, pressure's on. No pressure. No pressure. So With this, it, still? Yep, yeah, we're still okay. going to use that. All right. All right, and you just line it up. Go ahead and line it up oh. so where you think it's, like, pretty even. I think you did pretty good from the side. I just like want that? you to know. That was pretty impressive. So, guys, I've been... I guess we should let them know. I've been crafting professionally for about five years, and Brandy, I'm not sure is, if you noticed. I'm a little new to the Brandy's game. Brandy's new, but she's <laughs> able to do all of the things. It's fun. It is fun, and we have fun. We do have a lot of fun, don't we? Are you good with all the? Yeah, wires? I just don't know what's okay. It's it is kind of like better to be in your right hand. So got it. Go ahead. I'm and do going. It. Yep. Go ahead. So basically, <laughs> I feel dangling up here. Andrew made me a bow. So isn't it super cute? We love it. It is super cute. And we do need my to hair's a little one. wet, so I think it's like the one well, slides it. Looks it. Good. But does it? I it feel like good. it's sliding down my forehead. It is a little low, right? Guys? <laughs> but it's super cute. So basically, Brandy is new to this, and the whole thing that started this is I wanted to be able to show people that spend all this money on these machines that they can actually use them. I don't know how many times people that like I go to houses and teach people how to use the machines. They're like, well, I've never had it out of the box. Well, when did you get it? Three years ago. <laughs> I You're had a cricket, and I think I used tried to use it once. My sister helped me though, but yeah. Uh, yeah and but look how capable Cheryl you are. Says hello, ladies. Hey, Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl. I love your hair, Andrea. Oh, thank you. I forgot I got it done. Right? <laughs> now I can test it. Now you can test it it's, and see it's how it's it good. Goes. I think. Michelle says hello, ladies. Hi, Michelle. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Maybe Michelle it's is one of the other baton moms. Yes. Maybe it's Peyton on there too. We don't know. Oh, maybe Peyton's on there. That would be fun. Okay, now you have to line this up, oh. and this part goes above the S. No pressure on that, huh? So how you know how a design gets put together, it, the easiest thing for me is once I cut all the pieces, I go back and I look at the actual design on Design Space, not a picture of it. I look at it on Design all Space because right. it'll show you I'll all your, your colors. Approval. Perfect. And then I need this because this yes. vinyl is... Yes. I'm learning. So we need to cover the existing vinyl that we already tore the protective cover off of. And you're going to go again for another 30 seconds. And now you're going to see different ways I do things, but this is just how I do them. Some people say you have to iron the back, you have Denise to flip it. and Jossie says hello. Hi, Denise and Jossie. And she's glad that you're feeling better. Oh, thank you. I know. I missed everybody last weekend. And I I was like, dang, like they're all having fun, and I'm like, well, not like you would have sat with us though, <laughs> right, Becky? Yeah. Well, if if Mike's out there, I can always sit in the corner. So, yeah. So if you're if you're using the the vinyl, you always want to protect it if you've already peeled the protective covering off. Look how good you did. Oh yeah. Look at that. At, at an angle, even. At an angle, so. I pretty much found everything I do with Cricut is at an angle. I load my mat at an angle, like whenever I put vinyl on it. Um, <laughs> Are you taking pictures? Oh, oh she's doing TikTok. <laughs> she has no clue what No she's idea. Doing. So I, I think it's important and it makes it easier because we have so Amber many different things. Says hello. 
Hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. I met you, right? I yes, met Amber. you did. She's the hoagie girl. Uh, yeah, I totally met Amber at the parking lot. <laughs> Hi, Amber. So that is just the way the material was. Oh, I'm like, that's weird. I got yeah. an extra, like, food catching flat. <laughs> not a good angle to but look isn't at. that super cute <laughs> it like, is super I love cute. that easy to do super cute i love it it's so cute moving so on. now moving on so now we can do the bunny i thought this was really really cute so guys i um i hire out my kid <laughs> for making me crafts so she paints everything for me because i'm usually she does a good job too yeah she does i run a full-time um t-shirt making business so when I'm doing other work, I have her do, like, the little things of painting she likes to do. Is this iron on? That one is not iron on. That Sticker. is just regular vinyl. Permanent vinyl. Okay. Okay. So I would suggest that you press it first. This is a different kind of transfer tape. So if you follow me for a while, you know I'm trying different brands because somebody, a few people told me they did not like the Cricut brand, which I totally get. I love the Cricut brand, but some people, they just don't, it's just not their thing. And that's fine. So I'm trying different ones. Last time we tried the 3M. I didn't really like it. Yeah. It wasn't that great. So for the camera, um, do I want the vinyl down when I'm doing right? this? So whenever you're doing heat transfer vinyl you and you're cutting to, it. To do this part. Up, I want to, you want to do both sides. So you do the front oh, and the back. Sides? Yep. You, oh. you rub both front and back. All right. That's how you get it to stick. Now, I'm going to be honest. I did a pre-tester on this, and I wasn't really pleased with it. Now, this is no the HTV here. Raunt brand, this kind. I got it off Amazon. Wasn't really pleased, but I like to share, you know, show you guys just so you can make up your own mind of what you like. Oh, that's right. a, Actually, what? that one, that's Cricut, so that'll work. <laughs> I All this extra press. I did that one with She's her. just kidding, guys. This is the good just stuff. Just kidding. That's the Cricut brand. All right. Now I want to pull the white away. Pull it back. Yes. So I want my add an angle. angle down. Yep. And I want to add an angle. And it should pull it and right up. You all should pull as close to it as you can. Yes. Oh, look. She remembered. So all cute. Right. All right. So now you're just going to light it across. up on there. Yep. No pressure. This is just going to go in my living room and everybody in the world's going to see it. <laughs> that looks good. Uh, I think it should go right a little bit more. But if it starts coming off, it's staying there. Oh, okay. There you go. Sometimes whenever you can, like when you put something down and you it's got to commit, vinyl, it's a commitment. But this may because the wood is a little bit wet from the paint. It gave you that option to like lift it. You okay with that? I love it. All right. Here it goes. Nothing. Now I got it. It says Easter with a cross on the end. I thought that was so cute. Go again here. Yep. You're going to press it down. I love these little squeegees. Amazon. I got this one off Amazon. Now add an angle. Add an angle. You're going to peel it back. And if it peels up some of the paint, no big deal. We can always touch it up. No stress. That Good was, thing that didn't come that's along. That's right. Whew. That turned out perfect. That did turn out really good. Okay. And you can save this to reuse it, although you this can. is a very small piece, but I'll still save it. Absolutely. It's like you Pennsylvania. Save it. You got the little... Oh, yeah. I, I did that on purpose. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I, okay. Okay. Well, that's perfectly on there. There you go. Okay. okay. So then all I did was I made this little bow to press on it, and there you have it. Super cute. It's so cute. Can and you, you see that back? And you can get these at the Dollar Tree, or actually I got this at Family Dollar. Okay. So it, it was so simple, so cute. It is really cute. I like the bow a lot. I know, right? Did that turn out yeah, cute? I, it is really I had cute. to throw that on there because I wanted a little girl one, and then yeah. I'm going to do a little boy one. Oh. And I think... That's how you're going to have a bow on the bottom, like a little bow tie. He is going to have a bow tie, mm -hmm. yes. I like she knew it. right where I, I was like going it. with it. So cute. Mm -hmm. So that one is done. I'll put it in my done collection. Okay, so the next thing we have is, can you hand yep. me those? Ooh. So, the top's open. The top's open. <laughs> you can you give me the whole stack, oh, please. Now you're getting needy. Now you're asking really for needy. everything. Okay, so we have, I bought three different packs. So these were from the Dollar Tree. Brandy and I did a shop. We should do like a shop video. Oh. Like when we go shopping, we have so much fun. We do. We do. So these came in, and Beck can come too. She's in on that sure. She'll video. Yeah. <laughs> so you get eight to a pack, and they have the little chicks, the... Um, carrots and then the bunnies all right so again I had my daughter paint them for me do you want to show those 
So she painted them all for me, and I wanted to make a banner that says blessed. She wanted it in the fire on the fireplace in her bedroom. So I'm going to put this together for her. Actually, I'll let you put it together. Well, well, don't mess them up. They're in order, friend. Well, you didn't tell me that part. They're in order. Now she tells me. <laughs> Come in one time, and she has this all bedazzles everywhere. And I was like a little kid, and I was like, oh. She's like, don't touch anything. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like, I specifically <laughs> laid that bedazzle right there. I should know better than to just touch stuff, but I haven't learned my lesson yet. It's Do I have okay. to put the letters on first? So you will have to put the letters on. Okay. And what I wanted to show you guys is look how cute. Like, I don't, these are turned out so adorable. And they were $1.25 a bag. So for a couple dollars, you can make a beautiful banner. And it could say anything. Like, you could say Happy Easter or... Um, he is risen or just something Mom's cute. Mom's the best. Mom's amazing. <laughs> Why not? Oh, it's Easter. <laughs> so you don't, well, I mean, you could do like the now, bunnies do I need just to for do spring. Like, or did you already? Okay, I'm going to let you do it because I haven't used, like, I only tried it once and I was like, eh, eh. And you're like, well, if Brandy can do it, it's not too bad. That's right. I don't want to be it. pretty judgmental. Challenge accepted. <laughs> so Brandy's going to see how it's going. My phone, sorry guys, it's making noise. All so right. how are we going to peel this? At an angle. But are you oh, gonna no, I'm going to put that this way. Flip it over. It's the easiest Wait. way. I promise. Oh, look at that. It works for her I, perfectly. I think you just didn't squeegee hard I enough. I don't think I squeegee hard enough. I have right. no upper body. So the, the carrot is the first one. And this is the Mickey Mouse font, or I think it's called Disney Disneyland. Or Do Disney you want to like that? That's perfect. It looks great. Okay. So... This is the Disney one. Now, I did purchase this, and I saved it onto my design space. Um, you can't sell anything to make with this on it. Like, I know people do. It's wrong. I'm just going to be honest. Like, don't sell stuff that you shouldn't sell. Um, but this one you can make your own projects with, which I think is really nice. Okay, so... so this is a team effort now. See if I keep doing this while you do that. Or do you need me to help you with that? No, it, okay. but you have to start with the end. Ah! When you make a banner, you, have to, oh, never you mind. have to start with the very last letter first. All right, I better get to work. It's okay. No stress here. We, we're going. We're doing good, right? Yeah. We're doing good. We sometimes lose track of time. We do. Because we have so much fun. <laughs> last week, we may have left with low viewers. <laughs> with what? Low viewers. We kind of kind of got away from oh. topics a little bit. Yeah, it got a little crazy. Yeah, and we kind of... I should have known I wasn't feeling good that week because I had nothing prepared. Like, they walked in, I was yeah. like, yeah, I'm not ready. <laughs> nice. Do I like it. it. So, this font is tilted. I should have told you that. It's a tilted font. It's so, does my chick... Does It, it, it looks perfect. So, it should looks, I lean him another it, way? No, it looks okay. good. Like, the E for sure is going to be tilted. <sighs> And that'll just go with the theme in her room. It'll look super cute in her bedroom. She's she's gonna love it. Are you saving these? No, you can okay. throw these little ones away. I All normally right. do save them, but for the sake of like our time. Yeah, and time for sure. It'll yeah. take a long time to line those yes. up. Yes, we're not worried about that right now. But you're doing such a good job. Thank you. See, I could get all of my crafting done for me. Yeah. <laughs> let's just call these guys because let, let's just do a video, friends. <laughs> Perfect. I feel like you're just... No, it's not. It's perfect. It. You're getting so good because I, of all of your practice with this that you're doing it, like, perfectly. Ah, see? You're see? schmoozing over. Do you see how it is? Like, it just takes time. So many people have been like, well, I tried it once and I couldn't do it. Sorry, you can hear my chihuahua. The girls are playing with them. I thought that was my kid. <laughs> <laughs> so... I hear like people all the time say, I tried it once and I couldn't make it work. So I put it back in the box and shoved it away. You have to try more than once. The very first time I got my skin, my brother's skin and cut, I cut through the mat, like literally cut my daughter's name out of the mat because I had the blade set so deep. I didn't know what I was doing, but you know what? I duct tape that bad boy back up and I've been still using it. It's still sitting over there. I've Dang. had it for four years. Dang. So you really, really can just do everything with these machines it's amazing and if you don't have a machine i'm going to be doing projects that you don't that does not require a cutting machine because i had a lot of requests for that so i didn't forget you i just we all got sick and i haven't had time to do all the extra i tried things. to do a simple cup for a friend and i had to call andrew i think twice it's all right am i putting that upside down is it the same <laughs> both ways 
Uh, I mean, it goes like this. It doesn't matter. However you put it on. She's dyslexic. She'll be like, Mom, it looks, looks good, good to me. Looks she good. won't be judgy about it. I like that about her. She's I such a sweetheart. I think I talked her into going upstairs. You mean Paisley? Yeah. Do you know what child you brought? Never. <laughs> Never. I'm lucky that I don't forget them places. <laughs> but, yeah, so... <clears throat> My daughter is dyslexic, so it's funny because when she sees words, she sees a lot of them backwards, and she's like 17 now, so she really has to like, she reads a lot better now, but at first, like, she would see letters that weren't there, like, she would see the letter R instead of the letter S, but when she would say words, she wouldn't say the letter R, ever. Huh. Like, ever. The letter R did not exist in her vocabulary. So... It's just really interesting to see the different letters. So she wouldn't know. Like, she would look at it and go, it looks great. Mm -hmm. There are some things I've tried to do that I just, I have to go onto the YouTube page that we have. Yes, we have And YouTube then page. I watch the play-by-play, -play, and then I pause it, and then I do that piece, and then I look again, and then I pause it. See, yeah. it's a good way to learn how to do it. Yeah, and if you have a, an, a video that you want done, a lot of my videos that I've done, people have requested them. So if there's a video request that you have, I will totally like just let me let me know and I will put a video up for See, you. See, she gets me because then she does this cool stuff and then I'm like, ooh, I need to buy that. I, I bought a button kit because of that one thing you did with the Snacks, button kit. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's really cool, and it's still Listen. in the Amazon box. But when I'm ready, She'll I have, have it. it. I have it. Listen, I want you to use what you have to begin with. That's that's <laughs> my biggest thing. Use what you have before you buy more. And I shouldn't say that because I have a lot of stuff, but but. I think yeah, it is important to use what you have. All right. Okay. So here we go. When you do your, when you do this, you need to start with the last letter. D. D. Are you sure? I D stacked D them all up. That way I could just hand them to her. Except this B got away from me. Okay. So now we're just going to string it. I'm using like baker's twine. I'm not using ribbon. I usually use ribbon, but I thought it would look cuter if we did it. This I turned way. it back on. I wasn't sure because I. See, we still have that. Are you using the little one for this? No, but because I'm doing it this way, we start at the beginning. <laughs> See, she just didn't want to Listen, do this all while I was this doing is, it. She's this, is like, how, this is how easy that was. You see how I'm holding it? Okay, so I have the end on this side. All I have to do to start with the end first is flip it to this side. But my brain doesn't work that way. It works this way. So we're going to start with think the first about one. That. Yeah, all I had to do was switch it, but it will mess with me. So I'm going to do it my way. Huh. Yeah. I, will, I would have just... Did that make sense, like, though? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm like, geez. I just wanted to explain. I could have done it that way, but it would have messed with me, how my brain I'm works. I'm lying. I'm, oh, no, never mind. I'm good. Okay, so we're starting with the beginning. Beginning. The beginning. B. B. <laughs> Give me a B. L. <laughs> but aren't they so cute? I love the little chicks, how she painted they, them. They did paint really nice. I'm, I'm really impressed. I have a question for you. Sure. Are you going to separate them or tie them that the way when you hang it up it doesn't all fall together? Well, what I, yes and no. Should we tape everything to her fireplace? Because the, otherwise, if it dangles, the kitties will get it. But that is a good, that is a good question. Normally, I would tie them on. But these ones have to be taped onto her fireplace. She has two rotten kitties in her bedroom that terrorize her stuff. Why why we still have them is because she loves them. I love kitties too, but they are terrors. Yeah. And I told her, I'm like, you even got them from a preacher. <laughs> How are they that terrorizing? Okay. Because they know Jazzy don't care. They do, because Jazzy will love them no matter what. I may have touched that. All right. Can you guys still hear us? Are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> Flashbacks of last week. <laughs> nice. So I know that Wednesdays are tough because of church. I had a lot of people say, hey, I'm not going to be able to catch it tonight, but it's Lenten service. Totally get it, guys. You can watch yeah. the replay. We'll put the replay on here, and it'll be on YouTube. So be sure to check out, like... Yeah, Wednesday's kind one? of my fault currently. We're just gonna. I mean, my daughter's her. going to church, but I don't have to take <laughs> her. But it's baseball, baseball, baton, baton, and this is the only window we got. And right. So we kind of we we How don't want to work without each other. Like we're crew. Right. We're crew of three, and we like to hang out together. So we're always gonna work together. Um. So yeah. Okay, I'll take this. Oh, good idea. That makes sense. And you take that in. 
Exactly what Beck said was going to okay. happen. Okay, how's it look, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you got to hold tight. You can't walk okay. through. Okay, so we'll make right. it. Ready? Because I want you to see, like, the... Remember the video I did? If you guys watched the... The birthday party. The, yeah, how... Well, the St. Patrick's planning. Day. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. And how I hung these, which maybe... Amber said you're busy, ladies. Don't feel bad. I know, yeah. but we do, because we want you... We would love to have it consistently, but... We tried. <laughs> so, these are super cute. I'm not sure what's going on with your side, but my <laughs> side looks good. It looks adorable. You get the picture, right? It looks cute. <laughs> Blessed. Oh, no B. <laughs> there Blessed. we go. Oh, there it is. Do we get it? Can you see it? Nice, ah. right? <laughs> so there is a way to make these like hang properly. You could easily tape them on the back instead of using the holes. Or I can show you a quick way to do it. So when you're hanging them, and if you watch the St. Patrick's Day one, you already know this trick, but when you hang these, you can make your loop. So like, make, yep. just drop it first. That gives you like the like, yes, I can do this look. <laughs> so we're gonna drop it first, then we're gonna feed it the loop through, and we're going to, so you have your loop, just kind of like, what do you call this loop? Is there a name for this knot? Slip knot? Is it a slip knot? I'm going with that. We're going with that. It sounds really good. Okay, so then you're just going to pull it through. Like I'm Pinch on top pull. of a bookmarker. You know how on the top of a bookmarker you pull the thing through? That's all it is. Not everyone reads. Oh, losers. I homeschool. I have to read. Okay, so it's hanging straight, right? So then whenever you put it on here, you can just tie it. My nails will let me, let pick me it up. Let me get that string for you. So then you can just tie it onto here and it'll stay on place. And it's always good to have a co-pilot with you. And my fingernails are not... You're doing pretty good. Uh, almost there. Oh my gosh. I thought that was you for a minute. I... <laughs> no, it was not me. Okay. So if you... it'll hang like that. Nice. So... Lark shed? Okay. L-A-R-K-S-H-E-A-D. Hi. Tina said that. Tina said that. Is that I'm the kind of knot? The That's the, the knot oh, is. Oh, Tina. Tina does the the Girl Scout thing, so she would know. Thank you, Tina. Huh. Good job. I like I that. I can't say it. I'll but never know that word again. But nah. Kind of like Aglet. You better keep tuning in, Tina, just in yeah, case just we need so you it can again. Keep us in check. <laughs> <laughs> so we have that, which is. Super fun for a banner. She's going to love it. Mm -hmm. Now, that the next thing. And if you don't have a Cricut to put these in vinyl, you can do a stencil. Absolutely. And you can just paint the letters Absolutely. on it. And you can buy those stencils at yes. the Dollar Tree. Yes. Dollar and a quarter <laughs> or tree. Or you can just hand paint them if oh, you're yeah. really artistic. But you know that the Dollar Tree also sells the alphabet letters oh. already stickered. You oh, could do those too. Yeah. You could sticker them there. Stamp them. If you do not have the wood, what, stamp them. Oh, mm -hmm. she's getting all fancy now. Mm -hmm. See how she is? I don't have a stamp, like letter stamps. I got lots of those too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the other thing you could do is if you do have a Cricut and you can't find the wooden ones, cut out your own. They have chicks, they have bunnies, they have carrots. Design, like just pull it up from design space and cut it out and make your own banner. On the Cricut. Yeah. Duh. It would just be made out of paper. That's for, oh, you know what I mean. Like yeah. use paper. But and the make Cricut can cut like light wood, like that. Uh, can the balsa wood, yeah. Balsa. I don't like it because it rolls. Like t in my, just my opinion, I tried it one time, and it rolled on me. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it again. I tried it again. It rolled on me. And I was like, I'm done. The wood, rolled? the wood, like bowed, bowed, oh, bowed. Bowed just makes more sense than rolls. Yeah, it bowed up on me and I was like, why did it do that? And then I was upset and I was like, okay, I huh. don't like this, so maybe I don't have use to, it. Maybe it's like a sharper blade because it wasn't no. able to cut through it. No. Mm, I don't know. I never dabbled in that area. Never. Never heard it. I don't ask us for that video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll send you to somebody else to watch it. <laughs> Okay, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is my daughter collects American Girls. So she's 17, but she still loves to. We draw, I help her because, like, I'm all about American Girl dolls, too. Um, and the ones you get at Walmart and Target are super adorable. And you can get these little 18-inch T-shirts. And we're going to make some um, Halloween <sighs> Easter ones. <laughs> Easter ones for her dolls. So she has a lot of dolls. 
And so we're just making one tonight, but she wants to make more. So as we make other ones, I'll post pictures of them. Um, but these ones are soup. They're really well made. I'll put a link below to where we get these because they also sell children's clothes and they're adorable. Like so, real kids clothes? Like real kids clothes. Okay, so when you do these, because there's Velcro, and if you're ever making anything that has snaps on the back or anything like that, you need to make sure that they're pushed out of the way whenever you're pressing them. Otherwise, your vinyl will get like a hump on it, and you don't want that because you can't press it out. So, I'm going to tell you no pressure, but this is for Jazzy's doll. So, I'm going to say pressure. Pressure. All right, so you're going to do... I want to still. Yep. Okay. You're going to do 30 seconds. Okay. Just oh, it's like it. the size of the egg. Well, not quite. So you're going to have to move it all around. We need like 30 second music playing. Ding, we have like ding, a little timer. Ding, ding, ding. I could use my phone, but that's an awful lot of work those, for tonight. Those games that you have, that tick, 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 tick. Oh, yeah, that, that wouldn't be, be annoying. <sighs> It'd be like tick, tick while we're talking. Then tick, tick, tick. I'd be like <laughs> trying to get it in there. I didn't take a drink yet. I sat it back down. <laughs> I think I'm feeling, I'm not as feeling as well as I was. I think I'm like, like it's starting to. <laughs> what do you think, 30? I think it's been 30. All right. We're going for it. Okay, let's see. At an angle. At an angle. Peel that baby up oh, at an angle. Oh, it's stuck a little bit. Okay. I'm going back in. I'm Go going back, back in. in. Well, this is Cricut vinyl, and sometimes Cricut vinyl needs to be cooler before we peel it. So stop heating so and let it cool. So you could probably just let it cool and see how it goes from there. Um, I... I usually use scissor vinyl, and with scissor vinyl, there's a lot less cool time. You can just usually peel it warm, but we'll wait and see. Isn't it cute? I should have brought one of her dolls down to show, like, have a shirt on next time. I could probably put it on Minnie, although next she looks time. like her hands are really big. They are really big. And if you stretch out her doll shirt, she'll be mad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on okay. here. Okay. Peel at an angle. Looking all right. Looking good. And this one, if you guys didn't see it, it just says Happy Easter. In the egg. In the egg. So super cute. Look at that. Will her doll not look adorable in that? I'll take pictures. All right. Because I don't think you're convinced. I mean, it is cute. It's super cute. It's simple and cute. She has yeah. a couple dolls. Like, all the dolls have personalities. Like, when you buy them. Unless you buy a Just Like Me doll, but that's a whole different thing. So, like, that I think Kit would wear. Because Kit's, like, from... The Great Depression era, so that's just simple and super cute, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing we it have feels bumpy, like it does feel a little bumpy. Yeah. It's all right. Sure it's fine. So this next one I would probably do on a short sleeve onesie, but I didn't have any. I just have long sleeve ones. So this one says "Silly Rabbit Easter's for Jesus." It's super cute. It I'll is let, super cute. I'll let you show it once it's no. all done. We using this again? We can use that again. This is going to take a little more time. It will take some time. Pressure. Remember, pressure. heat, pressure, and time are super important if you want these outfits to last. I personally would never use a mini press on a t-shirt or a onesie or anything if I was making it for someone to wear. I would use my um, pull-down pressure one, and I can do a video with that. Just because I don't have the upper body strength to press to give the give it the right amount that it needs. Mima's calling. Mima. She doesn't have Facebook she, to watch us, so Mima. she doesn't really know. Mima is Brandy's mom. Yeah. She's pretty amazing. We like Mima. She's entertaining. She really is. Want to hear a story about what happened with her and Paisley at the at the Village Pantry for ice cream today? We do want to hear. She a story. stopped in at the Village Pantry for some ice cream, which we love, mm -hmm. and she says Paisley says, "Can I? Can we sit inside and eat?" And so of course Mima, whatever Paisley wants, she says, "Yeah, sure." So then Paisley goes over and sits with this mom and dad and kid and sits in the empty seat at their table. And my mom says, Paisley, what are you doing? Do you know them? And th she says to the parents, do you know her? And the parents are like, no. And, and she's like, Paisley, do you know them? And Paisley, I know the kid. I know the kid. <laughs> the kid apparently is in her preschool class. And mom said they asked her like if he's bad or something like that in class. And she answered one or two questions. And then she just sat there in silence and ate her cone with this family. And my mom sat at a separate table <laughs> and watched it happen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was a hilarious to hear if today. If you know her daughter, Paisley, she is the stinking cutest little girl. Oh, oh my she's gosh. Something. She's so, something. So, like, that would have been like a 
reward to get to sit with Paisley and just oh. enjoy ice cream. But like the, she said it was so awkward silence over there. So and Paisley like, says, I couldn't talk. I was leaking. It was. <laughs> so. And how old Paisley is only four. Four. Just to be clear. It wasn't yeah. like a 15 year old. That would have been really weird. <laughs> But, you know, she acts like she's shy sometimes, yet she goes and sits with a family that she doesn't even know. That's so great. I love oh, it. Oh, my gosh. What do you think? I think we can t I think we can cool it. Let test. it cool a minute because this, too, is um, her vinyl. So we want it to cool a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like in it's the meantime. so cute. I love that design. Do you see it on there? Yes. Super cute. That is cute. I really like that. I know. It's funny, too. I love it. Amber said she must be picking a new family. <gasps> Probably. Oh, man. Probably. That's such a burn. Here, you're on the speaker. Oh. Or the... Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> See, if it was up to her, she'd live at my mom's house. But... I don't know. She loves her mama. I don't know. As much as her mama. Mima but gives her everything she wants. Mima would say no, Paisley. She'd come back home. Mima will never tell her no. No. Mm, what do you think? can't see your hands in the way. I think it looks good. I think it's coming up a little bit. See that? The final part. Okay, so then go ahead and press going back it down. in. I'm going back in. So this is the thing. You can make t-shirts with a mini press. You just do have to be like Brandy was. Very smart Check when it you're out. peeling it. Make it wasn't sure. sticking to the shirt completely. Yeah. I could see it coming up a little bit, although it didn't stick to the clear thing. Right. So it's just about there. Yeah. Did you shut it off? Nope, I was just heating it up some more. We're back to green again. Back to green. I was going to put it on turbo heat here. Speed this thing along. Well, we have something we need turbo heat for, so after this one, we'll do the turbo heat. Whoa. Well, the sublimation has to be done. Oh, did you need a heat of press up somewhere? No, we're going to use that one. What? I already did it today once with it. It's you fine. Did? Listen to her dowdy moose, Salfa. We got this. See, these are sublimation. They turned out really good, they too. They did turn out super I, cute. I really like the sublimation. Although the sublimation printer, it's better if you know a friend so, that has one. <laughs> do you know they a friend that has one? They're it? expensive. I looked at them. I was like, dang. Okay, so I, I, now, went the, I went the economic way, and I just purchased an Epson, and then I converted it, which you really didn't have to do anything other than put uh, now sublimation ink into it. Now, you that ink will go bad if you're not using yeah, it? Yeah, you have to use it. Like, it can't sit around or you have How to... How often are we talking? Um, I, well, I use mine probably like if I twice went a, month. a week. A month? You might have to clean your printer head, but it should be oh, fine. Hey, that's hot. <gasps> Don't burn yourself. Careful, it's hot. You know, didn't remind me to cool it down this time. Usually, I'm the one burning myself, yeah. though. With the hot glue gun, intentionally. Like, I did not put hey, the hot glue gun. Hey, I just squirted hot glue there. Let me push on it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did the bow for it with the little bunny with the hot glue. I was like, you know what? I'm not even burning myself this time. Forget it. Good night, huh? I burn myself all the time, guys. Like, I don't know how I have fingerprints left. Like, I bet I could get away with some stuff. You probably could. Because I don't think I have any fingerprints left. Yeah, that was definitely better. Nice. And now it is out and cyber. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess now I must have again. Way to go. <laughs> I'm like, wait, all what? right, we're all Look on there. Look how cute that is. That, uh oh, did I get that on the sleeve? Probably not. I, it, I just use like leftover stuff, so okay. you're good. All right. Yeah, and whatever I make, if I don't know somebody that it fits, I donate it. So it's not like this stuff is going to like waste. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. It's all for a good cause. All for a good cause. Right. So these are napkins. Thank you. So my napkins. Oh. Oh my gosh. Not kids that you could blow your nose in like so a monkey. So my kids, um, for school this year, they took a sewing class that I did with them and I taught them how to sew. Mm -hmm. So Dang. we use, we use hand, like we use washable napkins on the holidays only. I'm not like a rock star here. I don't even use them on the holidays. Well, we just bought holiday fabric and they made them. So oh, super cute. That is cute and fun. So all I did for this one is I just folded it in half and I hard pressed it. Like I made a nice press and then I folded it into thirds. And this is where we're going to sublimate on. Okay. But when we sublimate, we know we can't have what? wrinkles. We definitely can't have wrinkles, can't have wrinkles. But what else? You can't let it, your mat unprotected. Yes. So you have. can't let the top unprotected for your press. So we have a protection. This is just basic cardstock. That's all it is. 50 pounds. No. Uh, 20 pounds. No. 100. Like, 300. It's like, it's like 80 pound cardstock. All right, need. showboat. Okay, and you want the smooth side on top. I 
think I did. Yes, you did. All right. Okay, and then here is the sublimation. So I have a sublimation printer, but if you wanted to do like a shape, like a bunny or something, you could use infusible ink. Oh. Same thing. Infusible ink and sublimation are the same exact thing. Hey. Cricut just said, for sure. Cricut was just like, hey, we're going to give it a new name and we're going to make it on sheets and then we're going to sell it more expensively. And that's how they did that. See the sublimation. No hate on Cricut. Print, right. And the infusible ink is printed. It's pre-printed, yeah. which is really helpful <clears throat> if you don't have a sublimation printer. So I'm not knocking yeah. it at all. I just think it's a little pricey uh -huh. when you can sublimate your own stuff, right? Okay. So if you're... That video you did with the white and then you put that The stuff, glitter? Yes. I loved that. Yes. Loved okay, that. Okay, so... I have other ideas for sublimation. If you guys want to see them, they were two of my bigger videos. I got a ton of subscribers because of them, yeah. but really there's other ways to do it. And if you guys want to see more ways to sublimate on like non sublimatable products, I can do those too. I just don't want to like overwhelm you guys with sublimation because it's not cricket cutting necessarily. Does that make sense? But we're not just cricket cutters. That is true. Mm -hmm. We use all sorts of fun things. Yep. Okay, so this is sublimation. It's very dull, but it'll come up darker whenever we actually press it onto. <gasps> yes. Thank you. Bless okay. you. I thought it was going to oh, please. I just so ready. Alarm, guys. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> this is sublimation paper. I have a sublimation printer over here, I promise. It's just not in the film. Um, but I'm going to show you how to, uh, how you should use it instead of keeping it and cutting it with scissors, you should tear your paper so it doesn't leave a harsh line around it. So all you're gonna do is keep your hands, the easiest way for me is to keep my hand over the actual design and then it, it won't tear into that. So we just tear it off so that there's like a lighter edge instead of a sharp edge. Does that make sense? Because if you were to print it or if you were to heat it with a black line, the black line would be on here. Oh, for sure. But when you just do regular, like that's only because I use design space to cut it out. That's, but if you, you can just print off a picture of your family on your printer with sublimation ink and put it on there, there wouldn't be a black line. Yeah. So you, you know what I mean? So you're just gonna, even if there's no black line, you wanna tear around it. Oh. Yes, okay, that's what I, I wasn't sure if that's oh, what you're doing. I just thought you were tearing it because the black line was there. <clears throat> nope. Oh, for everything. Yep, you okay. just tear around it. Do you do that for infusible ink too? Nope, you don't have to. Hmm. I haven't found a need to. I mean, maybe you're supposed to. I don't see why, that would be a waste. No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you heard it here, don't do it. Okay, so now we need the blue tape, please heat resistant tape. Oh my gosh. I'm I so have a roll in my you. car that hasn't gone to my craft it's room. It's still in your have... car. You need to yeah. get it inside. Okay. Yeah. So now we're I'm just going to place it. We're going to place it here and you're just going to tape it down. So I'm going to cut. How much tape? Do you trust me? Cause yep. I, I don't have my glasses. Oh, my finger. <laughs> Anywhere. Tape. I tape the corners. It always helps with the team. It does. Teamwork I know there's like the a, there's a tape thing that you could tape dispenser, but I'm like I don't have any more room, guys. You could put in a scotch tape dispenser. You even. could, but yeah. I don't have. Where am I gonna put a scotch tape dispenser? Right here. Oh, it, really? You think it's gonna stay there? Maybe today. There's nowhere <laughs> else to put it. You go there for today. Okay. You could always even take like one of your Christmas ones, take that one out and put that in just the little one, and then it can dangle there could. just like that. that. Is, now that is a smart idea. Did you, you have you hear that? that? Tell yeah. them again. Do you have scotch tape anywhere? I, I don't think I do because I don't oh. use scotch well, tape. Well, if you had scotch tape, you just take the clear scotch tape out when you're done with it, put your heat tape in, and then it's just always there. That is such a great idea. Then you can hang it right where we hung the roll there. Smart. You are welcome. This is why we work together. Now. Now. It's right here. So it's going to be in the show. You have to bump it up to number three. Oh, so now click you it again. Hang on, guys. we got to wait till this heats up. No. <laughs> so wait till it turns green because that's like... Sublimation is, in case you're not familiar with it, it's a, the scientific part of it is you're taking a solid, which is the ink on the paper, and it's skipping the liquid phase and it turns straight to gas and it infuses into the fabric. When you're using any sort of sublimation or infusible ink, you need a polyester 
something to attach it to. And the higher the polyester count, the better it will work. Pressure. Uh, not really. Not a whole lot of pressure. It's just sublimation because you're basically just getting it to heat up so hot that it transfers through that. Is so. this a 30 second thing? No. Sublimation like is... three minutes. It can be, yeah. It Boy, can be. so I don't know when we're going live next week. What else we got? <laughs> ne what is next oh, week's yeah. theme? Because next we did week, the double Easter today. Um, next week we have... Um, we were going to do Easter Jesus. We were going to do tips and tricks. Oh. Of like all different things you can do with your cricket. Yeah. So tips and tricks next week. That'll be fun. Mm, that'll be fun. We don't know. What I don't know any tips be. or tricks. So this is all Andrea here. We'll find some for her to, to yeah. share. We'll like, look, My tip is with. the scotch tape. I think that's a great uh, tip. We'll bring it back up and we'll try it. Okay, we'll try, we'll try it. it. We'll, we'll buy try some it. scotch tape. I don't have. Watch it doesn't tape. fit in the roll. <laughs> well, if it doesn't, that's good though. Then we'll know. But don't forget to be in a ventilated area. Yeah, whenever you do sublimation, it is it does leave off a gas. It's like a stinky. A I bit. can't smell it now. <laughs> right now, I don't smell it. But um, it's, it's not like a smelly gas. It's yeah, just it's like a something. A fume. Burning. There's a fume. Yeah, yeah. because it's mm -hmm. turning into a gas. That makes sense, Beck. Okay, see, it makes sense to Beck. We got this. What? <laughs> Where's my son? Jesus, is that you? <laughs> Jesus is there. <laughs> Yeah, his room is directly above us. Oh, uh, so I kind of moved my family out of our home and like just overtook it with crafting stuff. It's yeah, they're my, they're all making do. Oh, oh they love, but they're they fine. love it. Yeah, they they're so supportive. I was such a great family and friends. Everybody's yes. so supportive. Now we can we can look at it, but but I want to just say, if you move while you're sublimating, you move it at all with a regular heat press. You'll have ghosting around it. Oh. So we're going to find out. We're just going to look and see what happens. All right, happens. here we go. No and pressure. And if it is like that, we'll teach you what ghosting is. Yeah. Because I'm okay. not sure. Ghosting okay. is like, it looks like a shadow around Maybe you really like it. You won't. Oh. <laughs> it's not fun. All right, so what do you do here? Okay, oh, so it's, it's hot. hot. It's super duper hot. I almost grabbed it. Did you see me? I was like, I'm going to do it. It's looking tough on that side. Do you think it's on there? Look how cute. It looks like it's on there. I'm it kind of does look like it's on there. Do you want to get a um, picky toe? Yep. Picky toe. Anything else? No. Don't burn your hand. I probably will, but it's all right. I have my nails on. Okay. Ow. Ow. Ah! I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to... Oh, it's on there. Oh, it's... Well, it's one ear didn't come up, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Because I'm going to show you something here. This is perfect, actually, that that came up. That this bottom piece? Yeah, because I forgot to tell you a step. So it's my fault. It's completely my fault. It for sure it is. But it's okay. Hey, friend! Oh, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure I had a part in it. <laughs> so it turned out right. I mean, for what she did, it transferred. But what I forgot to have her do was use the um, lint roller. Do you see oh, that? Is that what this is? No, the one in front. Kind of, kind of the one in front. Like a little vacuum in yeah, there. Yeah, that is the brayer. Oh. Okay, so what I should have had her done before she did anything was run this over, over top of the fabric because what happens with sublimation is if there's any imperfection or anything loose at all, the most minuscule anything, it will leave a dark line or blue dots. And that's what happened at the bottom. There's we, black lines. Can I get closer? Can you see it? Can you get your arm in there, back? Oh, here, I can. I can go around. She can go around. Don't trip over the lights. I... So, like, there's a black line at the bottom. And, I mean, it happens. Like, sublimation is one of those touchy things that if you're, like, mandatory, have to make something with sublimation and somebody's counting on it, buy extra. That's just my opinion. I think I told yeah. you that. By extra because well, now could if you use the heat press, would it have gave it a better because no, the, it wouldn't have matter. It would have pressed the color the better, ears better for sure. But yeah. the black lines can just appear. Okay, I mean it happens. Like yeah, and there's nothing you can do when they're on there. Nothing. You can't do except anything. you could put a little design on the you could on top you could of it. Cover like it with a darker to. color. Yeah, you could do an iron on right under it like you meant it to be. You there. absolutely could. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, there's ways around it because you're not stuck with it, but it would have been easier if I pulled out my 9x9 nine nine and you just pressed it, but I was yeah. 
just thinking that we were going to do the little one tonight. Yeah. And we made it work. It did work. It was yeah. fine. Mm-hmm. And I think, is that everything? Did we make everything? What time is it? Almost seven. We did Are you serious? We did. We did seven. it within an hour. That's yeah. so awesome. That is pretty good for us. So guys, do you have any questions or any concerns or comments or... Yeah. Going to go away. Check in us. Oh, no, I didn't think of any okay. of that. Normally, we have giveaways. Guys, I was, like, not there yet today. <laughs> we'll have a giveaway next week. Yeah, we'll plan it. Yeah, it'll be fun. So, do they have any comments, questions, concerns? Don't forget there's a delay when we say that. Oh, yeah, there's a delay. We have, we're always like, you have a comment? No, no comments? Okay, we'll see you later. <laughs> we're out of here. <laughs> all right, well, if you guys are all good, but we'll give you a second still, but while I talk. If you guys are good, um, next week, tips and tricks for your cricket. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. Are we good? Bye, Bye guys. guys.